Corey Ten Boom was inspirational. After being jilted by the man she loved, she devoted her time and to her faith and her career. She studied watchmaking under her father and became the first licensed female watchmaker in Holland. It wasn't her pioneering role in the watchmaking industry that she is famous for. It was the role she played when Nazi Germany occupied Holland in 1940. When the Nazis began sending Jews to concentration camps, Corey's goal was to save as many Jewish lives as possible. She turned her home into a headquarters for the Underground Railroad, sending Jews to safe houses in the country, and became an unlikely leader in the resistance movement. Few had the heart to help their Jewish neighbors, and even fewer, fewer would risk their own safety to seek out resources for them. But the risk didn't scare Corey. She exhibited traits of servant leadership by taking the riskiest Jews herself. For example, Mary, an elderly woman whose wheezing would give her away in a raid, and Uzi, a man who she claimed couldn't look more Jewish. She led by example, having a hiding place built for the Jews behind a wall in her own bedroom. And it can't be denied that Corey had a personal charisma as well. She was able to convince an old acquaintance to steal her a hundred ration cards with replacement coupons. These served to feed the Jews passing through her home. She also convinced a prison doctor to let her sister go free after talking to him about his Dobermans. Even within her house, when it came time to the decision to take in Mary, she used a democratic method, allowing the other members of the house to vote with secret ballot. However, after speaking with Corey, they all voted yes, Mary could stay, even at the risk of their own safety. With this, they felt personal responsibility and all banded together as a closer group. However, eventually Corey made a wrong decision. She trusted a man who turned out to be a spy, and the house was raided. However, she had set the right precautions in place so that everyone in the hiding place was able to go free, despite the imprisonment of herself and her father and sister. They were taken to Ravensburg concentration camp, where her sister died, but she was eventually set free. After surviving the concentration camp, Corey went on to become a speaker and leader in the post-war Christian community. She encouraged forgiveness and reconciliation from both sides. In this role, she had established referent power as people heard her story and aspired to replicate her faith and courage.